At some point, we need to break away from Liverpool. They are one point behind us in the league and I don't want a repeat of last season. Whilst we're at it, why don't we confirm top eight in Champions League today? Hello and welcome to Club 6, episode 22 of Half Star to Five Star here on Football Manager 23. I'm Russ Cunt. Today we have a league game against Derby County and then we have a final Champions League league group stage uh, a match, whatever you want to call them, against Rangers. We win that one. We will qualify in the last eight for the round of 16. We're going to go for that dreaded playoff then. Since you guys were last with us, you guys saw the Liverpool and the Nottingham Forest game. We haven't been too bad. We've dropped four points in the league, a 1 0 loss to Hull City. If we won that, we'd be four points clear of Liverpool. But then again, saying that if we hadn't drawn with Southampton, we would be six points clear of them. We also drew with Leon, which is why we have to play this game against Rangers and win it to qualify. If we'd have won that one, we'd already be qualified and we'd just show you some league matches. In the league, then, as I said in the intro, we are one point clear of Liverpool. They're on 61, we're on 62. We do have the superior goal difference. I don't want a repeat of last season where they chased us down and then stole the league title from us on the last day of the season. I want to be breaking away from them now, picking up points where they can drop them. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen at the moment. Transfer-wise, then, we have had a player out. I mean, we got we do have Milodon Djokovic coming in at the end of the season on a pre-arranged contract. We admit Napoli, he is a good right-back, so that's why we're bringing him in as a replacement for Rhys James when he finally goes. So, I did say transfers. Uh, the Bogdanovic deal has gone through. He's not as good as I thought he was going to be. Uh, Two-star current ability, three-and-a-half-star potential, so we might move him on. We have paid £7.5 million pound for him, so we are going to be looking to get that back at some point. Players out then. We have sold uh, Leandro Morano to Man, uh, to Man, Man United. We are Man United. Real Madrid for £55 million. Pound. Come to me saying that I wasn't playing in the position he wanted him to play. I mean, I wanted him to play midfield and right-back. He wanted to play centre-back, so... He wanted to go, so Real Madrid coming 55 will get him off the books because he's not happy. Another player who isn't happy at the moment is Rodrigo Contreras. He wants a new contract. I'm asking him and challenging him to, to perform above his skin. I mean, he played 30 games for us last season, 17 this year. Maybe I'm being a little bit cruel to him, but defensive midfield, that's where we bought Gavi in, didn't we? And Contreras... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he is a good player. He's a first-team player for us. Maybe I am doing it a little bit wrong there with him, so maybe I should offer him a contract, but we'll just see how things go. So, jumping into the Derby County game then, the team we're putting out there is Dennis Simon in goal, a back four, Cavell, Decker, Pfeiffer and Jefferson, Gavi at the base midfield, Palomo and Lelotto in front of him, Carlos on the left, Carreno on the right, and Sesco up front. Since Carlos has come back into the team, he has been getting those goals. He's also been getting the assist as well. So he's just contributing everywhere on the pitch. Hopefully he can do it again here today. Get Sesco a couple of goals. Get himself a couple of goals as well. I mean, Lolita is also good for a goal, isn't he? Running on from the, those Gavi passes up the pitch. Let's just go and win it. Go on, boys. Go and win it. And the first highlight is Lolita with a free kick. And it is saved by the goalkeeper. We have a corner. Be aiming for that front post. I think that's where Pfeiffer is going to be. It's Lolito taking this one. In it comes. And it has been cleared. Decker chases it down. And the highlight ends there. Good start for us here against Derby. We just need to find that breakthrough. And they have a throw in on that right hand side. I mean why can't we do our throws like that. Every throw we have. We seem to give away when it comes into the box. Ball loops up. Carlos wins it. Pfeiffer gets it clear. Gavi clears it properly now. To Correno on that right hand side. Can't control the ball. And Derby have it. Over on that right hand side. Carlos is now in position. Hustling the defender. But they've, uh, they've got it back to their goalkeeper. Playing it through the centre of the pitch now. As a flies straight in my eyesight. Shifting the ball. But, I mean, Cavell's there to header it back to Simon. Pfeiffer, and we start the attack again. He's uh, just taken a couple of touches and releases Creno on that right-hand side. He steps back, slowed the pace down, feeds it into Sesco. Sesco won one with the goalkeeper, and there's always going to be one winner there. Man United won, Derby County nil. Sesco tucking it away. Six minutes on the clock, we are in the lead. Ball's been played into Palomo, finds Carlos in loads of space on the left-hand side. He's got Cavell in support. Doesn't use him in Derby win the ball. Although Carlos has just nicked it straight back. Feeds it into Lolito. Carlos has got his arms in here for some reason. Is he asking for a foul? Cavell 
into Carlos. Carlos to Gavi. Gavi's been dispossessed. And Derby have gone the counter-attack, but they've just a heavy touch that Decker wins. Jefferson's coming to the centre of the pitch to claim the ball. Gavi now chips it over to Carlos. Can't find him. Cavell's there to win the ball back, though. And again, Derby get it clear and come at us. It was three on one. We've managed to keep him out of that right hand side and sliding challenge hasn't won the ball. Our players just can't stay on their feet. Just stay on your feet and win the ball. It's in the box now and Derby get an equaliser from us. I say it's an equaliser. It's going to be a VAR check. We were just sliding all around him. Every player just sliding all around. And it has been disallowed, thankfully. We need to defend a lot better than that one. We need to stay on our feet and win those challenges. Corner for us then. Lolito puts this one in. Aiming at that front post where Pfeiffer is. Or Pfeiffer, however you pronounce his name. Say down in the comments how you pronounce his name there. But he has managed to head it into the back of the net. Doing what Dyson normally does for us. 2-0, 25 minutes on the clock. Throw in for us. Cavell on the left-hand side. Gives it to Gavi. It's back with Cavell now. I, what was he doing there? Just... Dancing round on the spot. Lolito gives it to Gavi, whose shot has hit the Derby player. Loops up and is fallen back with our defenders. Gavi now chips it forward for Correno. Oh, he's just trying to play it into the pitch, isn't he? He should have played it out to Jefferson. Derby get it clear, but it's a poor clearance. Carlos has got it. Can he find a cross? He doesn't. He gives it to Cavell. Cavell to Gavi. Lolita Palomo. Oh, outside of his boot, and he just couldn't curl it in. Very good effort from him. Free kick for us, then it's Lolito. Oh, it's Gavi over this one. Normally it's Lolito with them. Can Gavi find the back of the net? Nope, it goes over for a Derby goal kick. I did mention this earlier. I completely forgot about it. As we go into half time, 2 0 up. The, uh, the board takeover didn't happen, so we are still struggling with money for finances from the sales. Only getting 25% of those uh, those transfers isn't good. Whilst also trying to pay back all of that debt that we've uh, we've inherited since coming here. We have a throw in with Jefferson on this right hand side. I mean, if we could just take some of that money and all of that money and just invest it back into the squad. We wouldn't have to sell as many players as Derby come down there. Left-hand side, we've got defenders in the box, although seem to be overrun with Derby players now. Pfeiffer gets it clear, trying to find Gavi on that left-hand side. He's got to go for that, hasn't he, Ref? Reckless challenge on, I think it's Correno. And it is a straight red card for the Derby County player. I think with that happening, we go on the attacking mentality now. We just absolutely attack them and obliterate them. We need to make some substitutions as well around the hour mark. Although we do have a corner here now. Lolito going to be aiming for Piper again. He does, but it's been cleared. Carlos picks it up. Runs into the box. Oh, it's a poor pass. He tried to play it into the path of Lolito, I think, who was just not reading where the ball was going to go. We do have it there with Palomo into Piper. Space on the right hand side if we can use Jefferson. We do. What's he doing? He cuts in. Plays it into Carlos. Carlos's head has been cleared. Gavi's heads over to Jefferson, Palomo, into Jefferson again. Jefferson trying to find that byline, in goes the cross, Carlos has been fouled, penalty. Well, it's going to be a VAR check on this one, it did look like Carlos was pushed. What's the, uh, what's the ref going to be saying? Penalty, opportunity to go 3-0 up. And it is, I think it's Correno, number 15. It is Correno taking this penalty, and... Just tucks it away. Formality for him. 3-0 to us. 54 minutes on the clock. I mean, Liverpool were 0-0 with Leicester. I'm kind of hoping they are. I didn't really check the score. They are 1-1 now. So, uh, for, I mean, as long as the results stay like this, we will be three points clear of them. Free kick for us. Gavi's going to whip this one in towards that back post where Sesco is. His head is over the bar. Three substitutions. Cavell comes off. Dyson comes on from James. Comes on for Gavi at the base of midfield. And Reina has come on for Palomo. Lolita's gone to the box box midfielder. Reina has gone into the Mazala. We've got about 11 minutes left to go. We have comfortably won this one. Liverpool are winning their game as well now. So we are still going to be that one point clear of them. We do need to break away from them at some point. I was kind of hoping it was going to be today, but it's not happening so far. Derby have headed the ball forward. Dennis Simon picks up the ball. Feeds it into Jefferson. Jefferson into Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer's just standing on the ball, just waiting for the opportunity to pass. He gives it to Lolito. 
Reese James feeds it into Jefferson again, which is staying on this right hand side. Carreno plays it back to Pfeiffer. If we can shift the play over to the right left hand side, that would be great. But no, we're staying on the right hand side. Carreno into James. James needs to play that ball forward. He does into Jefferson. Jefferson's got players cut back if he can. It's Rayner, and it's been cleared off the line. Oh, Carlos has got the ball. I don't know why I got my arms up in the air. We're 3 0 up. Carlos's cross has hit the derby player. We have a corner. Rayner's going to be taking this one. Can he find Pfeiffer's head? Can he find Dyson's head? Can he find anyone? He does. He's again being cleared off the line. Carreno with the ball. James. Reyna. Reyna hits the derby player. Gets the ball back. Gives it to Decker. Decker's had a very good game for us now. And the highlight does end. Final two changes. Evans comes on for Sesco. And Salazar comes on for Decker. For the last couple of minutes of this match. Three minutes of time added on. Can Leicester find a goal in injury time? I don't think they will. It is going to be a two-horse race for the title towards the end of the season. Arsenal are not going to catch us unless something catastrophic happens. There goes the full-time whistle here. Three nil winners. It was comfortable in the end. Red card didn't really change anything for Derby. We'll have a look at the league table as we're going to be going into the Champions League game next. So Goal difference of 48. Liverpool did win 2-1, so we are, as I said, one point clear of them. We will need to break away from them at some point, but let's go and confirm top eight in the Champions League by beating Rangers. But it looks like we have qualified for the round of 16 without even kicking a ball. Looks like teams have played, and uh, meaning Marseille can well they can catch us, but we still we just won't fall behind any of these other teams with Paris Saint Germain, Atletico Madrid. So. We're not going to play the Rangers game. We'll play that one off camera now. I think we'll come back. I think we'll come back for the FA Cup game then against uh, Everton. We've got the league game, got the FA Cup game, and then uh, yeah, just just see how well we can do in that. Well, the Rangers game was a formality. We ended up winning that one six 0 So in the Champions League, we finished third in the group. One of two unbeaten sides. The other one was Tottenham. So. Fair play to Tottenham. Now we just need to find a, a relatively easy route towards the final. I, will we play Real Madrid? I don't think we will. I think we'll go in as one of the seeded teams. So we will avoid them to start with. And hopefully we don't get them in the quarterfinals like we did last year and get knocked out. Let's go on to that Everton game then and make it through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. So we're ready for the Everton game then. The game in between was against Brentford and we beat them 5-1. Uh, was it three goals from Benjamin Sesco, two from Andre Carlos. That leaves us top of the table by four points now because Liverpool dropped points. So we are taking control of the Premier League as things stand. So we need to continue that now with our remaining 11 games. Just need to win them. If we can win... Well, if we, let's just say that. If we win all 11 of the remaining games, we will win the title, won't we? So that's what we're going to be aiming for. So the team then that we are going to be putting out for the Everton match in the FA Cup it is a pretty strong team because I am aiming to win this cup as well now. I think it would just boost the reputation that little bit more. Even if we, if we don't win the Champions League this year, we win the FA Cup and the Premier League. We know that we can go on for the Champions League next year and just focus on that. So the team we're putting out there for the Everton match then is Simon in goal, back four of Octavia. Clark, Pfeiffer and James, Gavi at the base midfield, Reina and Paloma in front of him, Cardozo on the left, Carreno on the right and Carlos starting up front. First highlight is Reina charging into the box and the Everton defender comes away with the ball. He's down there right hand side as Reina's trying to get back into position. They shift the ball up, it's sort of in our half, well it isn't obviously in our half. Is Everton come across, they're now into the box, they've got men over. And we concede. Easy as that. We've just switched off at the back. The left-hand side of our defence obviously isn't as strong as what the right-hand side of it. I mean, we've weakened that one uh, compared to the other side. But we we need to be better than that. I mean, we're top of the Premier League. These Everton are in the Championship. And we're defending like absolute... Like a useless team. And here they come again down the right-hand side. They obviously know they can hurt Octavio and Clark in there. They just run rings around him, and luckily that shot is a comfortable height for Dennis Simon to bring into his midriff. But they're just they're running rings around Octavio. Maybe, maybe we sell him in the summer. I know he's a wonder kid, but 
Yeah, he, he shouldn't be letting defenders just walk around him. Everton with a free kick here. If you look at the match stats after, it has all been Everton. Better of the opportunities, better of the shots. They've obviously got the first goal as well. As this free kick is going to be whipped in. Two men in the wall. There it goes towards that back post. There's a header and it's in the top corner. Oh my word. What are we playing at? Everton 2, Man United 0. We are... We just not turned up, have we? Match stats. We've had eight shots. Five of those on target compared to our four and one on target. Everton got throw in here. It has been all of them. Gavi wins the ball. Feeds it into Reina. Reina trying to find Carlos who had his back to the ball. We we just haven't turned up. Everton shift the ball. James picks it up. Don't give it away. Gives it into Dennis Simon who clears it long up the pitch trying to find Carlos. Doesn't find him. Everton win the ball and they shift it over to that right hand side. Can one of you just put a tackle in please? Because this is going to result in an Everton goal. I can just see it coming now. They're down that right hand side again. In it comes. Into the box. Edge of the box. Oh, they hit the base of the post and Plomo gets it clear. Correno launches it forward, trying to find Carlos, and the highlight ends there. Everton are just, just looking so much more deadly than what we are. We are poor, absolutely poor. Reese James with a free kick then at the end of this first half, and he's just giving it away. Luckily, he wins the challenge. Ball goes into Correno. We've got space on the left hand side if we can use Octavio. Into Clark. Clark now finds Octavio. Octavio chips it forward, trying to find Carlos, and it's a poor pass. Everton come away with the ball. Down the sort of down the centre at the moment. Correno steps in, wins the challenge. Feeds it into Carlos. Carlos is in the box. He's been fouled. We have a VAR check here for a penalty. At least it's an opportunity to well, it's not a VAR check, is it? It's Everton's ground there in the championships. We get a penalty here. At least it's an opportunity to boost a little bit of morale for us as we go in to half time. Correno with the penalty. We can't buy a goal. We cannot buy a goal in this match. Unbelievable. Just get us in at half time. I want to shout at these players. I'm going to throw the water bottle as well. Oh, half time. 2 0 to Everton. I'm really annoyed at this team. Where's the water bottle? There's the water bottle. Throw that at them. Send them out for the second half and then see what else happens. Goal kick, Dennis Simon then feeds it in to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer's had a poor game. Palomo, and Palomo's giving the ball away. Clark steps in, wins the ball, can't find Correno on that right hand side, although Correno's chasing it down. Everton just look deadly, and they're in, in towards the box again here. Clark gets it clear. Octavio falls to the ground. Everton put it across, and luckily we've got it clear. Cardozo on that left hand side. What are we playing at? What am I witnessing? Throwing then for Everton, right hand side still. Reina steps in trying to win the ball, but Everton are first to everything. Palomo's now won this ball. He's only got Carlos in front of him. It's Cardozo's found a little bit of space, feeds it into Carlos. Carlos into Correno. Correno hits the goalkeeper. We do have a corner then. Can we hit Piper's head? At least that's a definite route to goal if we can find him. Cardozo's going to put this one in. He's hit that front post. And it's been cleared back to Cardozo. Cardozo's now gone all the way back to Reese James. The highlight ends there. What a waste of a corner. Octavio and Correno have come off. Cavell and Evans have come on for them. We have half an hour to get ourselves two goals. Uh, well, I want three goals just to go through. I don't want the backlog of fixtures. Everton have got the ball in their box at the moment. Passing it nicely between their defenders and now the midfield. Uh, this has got a result in a... Problem for them, I'm hoping. Reyna's put some pressure on Carlos, gets it. Cardozo's in the box. And Cardozo should have passed it. Should have passed it there. Story of this game, we're just not picking the right options. Not doing what we normally do. Clark with the ball now in defence. Gives it to Cavell. Cavell goes back to Dennis Simon. Clark sort of played him into a little bit of trouble there. Pfeiffer into Gavi. What can Gavi do? Nothing because he's play playing it into our midfield. Evans... Evans gives it away briefly, but we do have it back now. Down the right-hand side. James needs to get forward. We've not found him. We've gone to Gavi, though. Gavi pumps it forward, trying to find Carlos. He does find him, and it's cleared off the line. Is anything going to go away in this match? 
Cardozo comes off. Castro comes on for him on the left-hand side. Can we do it? I don't think we are. I think we're going to lose here. Absolutely humiliated by Everton. Final two changes then. Dyson comes on for Clark and Lolito comes on for Reina. We have the ball with Dyson in our defence. Castro, Palomo. Lolito feeds it forward to Carlos. Carlos into the box. Has the shot, but the keeper is down early to save the shot. We've got the ball again, though. James on the right-hand side. Feeds it into Gavi. Gavi turns back to James. James ships it forward, trying to find Evans. Evans turns it into Carlos, who hits the defender. Looks like he's offside anyway, though. We can't buy anything in this match. We can't buy a goal. We can't buy a break. We can't do anything. Everton, from the goal kick, then, in to their defenders. I thought a little bit of pressure there, and we might have won the ball. But no, it's been pumped forward, and we have it now. Pfeiffer goes to Dennis Simon. Back to Pfeiffer. Palomo. Up into Evans on this right-hand side. Cuts into the centre. Shifts it forward. we got three there. It's Carlos. It's another good save from the Everton goalkeeper. He's kept him in this match. Throw in to us then. Nothing's coming of it. We've got two minutes of normal time. Plus whatever the ref wants to put on. This is three minutes. We are out of the FA Cup. It's dreadful. Everton with the throw in here. What's the bets to get a third from this? Just to rubber stamp everything. Into the box. Hits our defenders. Evans gets it clear. And then Everton come again down their left hand side. Gavi's there to cut the pass out. Feeding it into Evans. We're deep into time added on. Palomo wins the ball. Feeds it into Evans. Evans chips it forward to Castro. Castro puts it to Lolito and there's one. Slams it into the top corner. It's not going to be enough though, is it? It's a consolation goal for us. That little passage of play there was brilliant. Why couldn't we have done that throughout the entire match? Just waiting for that full-time whistle to go now. And there it does go. 2-1 loss to Everton. Championship Everton. And we're at the FA Cups so as a trophy that uh, we should really be winning. We'll say that to the boys. A, a, a lot of issues with that game. A lot of issues with a lot of players. Uh, both the wingers, the left back. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. I, I don't know what else to say about it. So, in terms of fixtures, then, I think we'll come back for the Liverpool game and then the first leg of the round of 16 with Liverpool breathing down our necks in the league. I think that's the best game to come back for and then we can come back for the Champions League game after. Um, yeah, that's that's our best, best, best options. But fourth, fourth round in the FA Cup by Everton. Come on, lads. Need to be a lot better than that. So if you guys enjoyed that, drop a big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already done so. And as always, folks, thank you very much for watching.